What's up guys, it's your boy Gang. Welcome back to another mod review video. In this video, it's going to be more like a test and a slight review. So basically what we're looking at today is the Jack Moose Moet pack and the Jack Moose Moet trailer pack. But I'm not going to only like show the the the, 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 the um, mowers and the trailers and stuff like that. I want to test it out. So we know it can mow grass. I'm going to show that. I'm going to show us bagging the grass and mulching. But I want to see if it can also be used as like a like a forage a forage harvester and uh, more other crops as well. So that's basically what we're going to be taking a look at. So the the packs consist of a few different things. So first of all, let's look at the mowers really quickly. First, we have the um, the Jack Moose Moet IT, and then the Bagged IT, and then the Mulch IT. I'm guessing. Based on the description I each, this one just cuts grass. This one you can actually collect the grass. I'm guessing that's something you could do silage with. And this one, it cuts the grass and I guess it just disappears. Um, each one of those are five slot cones respectively. Um, the next step is we have, is it in trailers or is it in miscellaneous? Um, this is what's gonna get me really quickly. Um, When I was looking for the trailers itself, I couldn't find it. And I remember that I actually found it in low loaders. So you had the Jack Moose Moet, a, um, tra Moet Trailer A, Moet Trailer B, Moet Trailer D. Um, the A is 8 slot counts, 10 is, uh, B is 10 slot counts, and D is 9 slot counts. And you can see the prices there. They're fairly inexpensive. And um, they're actually pretty cool. Not going to go too in-depth, but, you know, when you go in here, you can change it from deck to enclosed or, um, you know, just, a, you know, a few options without gas tank, with gas tank. And um, it's the same for this one. The difference between these two, I do believe it is. Let me just confirm that really quickly. I honestly think the difference between them is one is a gooseneck and one is not a gooseneck. I don't think actually this can actually be changed to a bumper pull as well, which is okay. So they they look similar. It's the price that's different, and then this one right here is basically it opens. It's a tipper. It's like a um like you know kind of concealed you know stuff like that. Then you have the equipment. You have a leveler which is located under leveler. I can you can use that for um for i guess silage and stuff like that that's something that i want to test out probably not in this video then we have i believe it is in miscellaneous yeah you have the other one for snow which we're not going to take a look at this one because we don't have snow on this map i don't have seasons enabled and then also in here you have the the yard it and the yard it trailer so this can be attached to the um the TLX, which is like I've always said, or been saying since this mod came out, is one of the most vertis, vertis, verti. What's the word I'm looking for? Oh boy, I drew a blank. It's the most versatile. There you go. It's been a long day, guys. This video was supposed to be out yesterday, but you know, being in the third world country that is Florida, we didn't have electricity for more more than half of the day, so it's coming out. Um, like two days late, basically. All right. So we have we have um, the the mow it, the bag it, and we have the mulcher is in one of these trailers. I don't remember which one now. All right. Oh, there it is over there. So basically, let me just give you some quick functions of of each trailer. This is the regular trailer, the smaller one. Um, Attached to it regular on Xbox, you're gonna hit the LB and um, A that unfolds the trailer. And if you take a look, there you go, that's it. Okay, that works. That's gonna be the same for both this one right here and also the bigger one right there, and also this one right here. Now, the one thing that I found that issue with well, not an issue, but I didn't know how to do it initially was for the for the one for the um made specifically for the TLX. 
So let's take a look here really quickly if I can actually get under this thing. It's ridiculous, I know. Um, why is it not going under? Oh, that's why, because I'm supposed to lower one part or lift one part. Oh, no, that's not why. Told you guys, I'm not a professional at this game. I, I just as much a novice as the next person that is just starting playing the game. It wasn't going on because I had the flatbed deck on there. So let's try it out once more. All right, so for this one, if you select the trailer in the back, there's really nothing that says load or unload so what you have to do is you're going to hit lb and then you're going to do i believe it's the r stick upwards and that closes the gate the r stick downwards opens the gate so that's the difference between both so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to cut to testing what the, ma the machines can actually cut i'm going to go first and do grass and show you guys how that works with each then i'm going to do each crop um, with each more and see if that works as well. So bring you guys back in when we're set up to do the grass. All right, so the first thing we're going to test is the, the mow it. On Xbox, you get in there the regular way you do, which is by pressing X. It's the same way you'd enter any vehicle. You press, you're going to press L, B, and A to unfold. You're going to press LB and X to turn it on. And then cut the grass. It pushes it out to the right side, which is good. And as you can see, the speed of this is kind of crazy. All right, so let's jump into the bag it and see what that one does. I think all this is going to do is collect the, the grass in the bag on the back, which is this is actually ridiculously big. And these things actually remind me of like miniature go-karts basically. So start engine, stop engine. So you press LB and A to unfold, LB and X to turn it on, and then start cutting. No, it's not on. Hmm. All right, so let's try it again. Lift, lower, pick up. Oh, there we go. All right, so is it not collecting from what it's cutting? Oh, okay, so my bad. I've completely misjudged what this thing does. Wait, can it not cut on its own? So basically this thing is a forage wagon so you cut the grass and then you follow behind it with this one to pick the grass up that's literally what it does it's it's it, it does what it says it does it bags it. it doesn't cut the grass it doesn't do anything else and that's it so let's go ahead and test the mulcher which i hope this one actually cuts the grass and just doesn't depart, drop anything um unfold turn on All right, so this one cuts the grass and just doesn't do anything. It doesn't give you anything. It just cuts the grass, which is like what the description says. So the next step is I'm going to test it on the crop. So let's get that set up and see what happens. Right, so the first one up is the mulch. It. Let's see if this will actually cut the corn. Nope, does not cut the corn. Let's jump into the next one and see if it will cut the corn or not. Not that one, not that one, this one. Not that one, this one. Not that one, but this one, not that one, this one, that one. All right, so this will not cut corn either. Let's see if it will cut the soy. Will not cut soy, will not cut canola. 
will not wait whoa, 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 whoa. it actually cuts which one did it cut it actually cuts wheat i believe this is wheat yeah it cuts wheat huh okay, let's try that once more maybe it was a fluke turn off more yeah that's my that's my cat in the background He's bringing his ball to play. He thinks he's a dog. Right, so lower more once more. So this actually cuts wheat. That's actually pretty cool. All right, let's try one more time on the canola just to see if it actually does or if it was just a mistake. Um, that it didn't cut it, I should say. All right, so it doesn't cut the canola and it does not cut soy, but it cuts wheat. Um, let me take a look at the description really quickly because I'm not sure if, I, if, if it says it or not. Yeah, it just says it mows grass. It doesn't say it, it, do, it, it cuts anything else. But as you can see, it actually does cut the wheat. So let's go ahead and pick up the, um, the baguette and see if the baguette will actually um, pick up the wheat. All right, so it will indeed pick straw up as well. And that in itself is actually pretty cool. So if it does weed, I'm guessing it might do, I think, barley and oat. That's something else I would have to test. But as you can see, it will do not only grass, but it will also do um, wheat. And it will the, the um, baguette will actually pick up the um, will actually pick up the straw as well. So the next thing I should see is if the, where's the mulch? Is this the, that's the, mul the mulch it. Let's see if the mulch it actually will cut down anything else besides grass. Doesn't do um, canola or canola or soy, but it does do also wheat. So that's actually some good to know that you can actually use this to harvest your wheat field if you want it to. Well, actually, if you wanted to get straw from your wheat field, you could use this. And that's, that's, that's good to know because, you know, if you want to use it for like, you know, with the animals and stuff like that, that would be good to do it. And you could just use it in that manner. So basically what this, this test shows is you can cut grass and you can cut wheat with the, um, the moit. You can also use the mulch it to cut it and you can use the baguette to get the grass or get the straw, which... That, that's pretty cool, actually. Um, the next thing I wanted to do was to test the... Is to test the, um, the leveler in the silage pit. So let me go ahead and get that set up, and I'll bring you guys right back. All right, so we unloaded about 1,500 liters of grass in the silage pit. So what I want to do now is test out this leveler really quickly. Um... Basically, you hold down um, L LB on Xbox. You move the left stick either up or down or left or right to lower it or put it to the side. So let's go ahead and... Where is it? Why isn't that doing it now? Let's go ahead and lower it. And then tilt it back slightly up. Lift it slightly. Move forward. So this is actually just spreading it. It's not, I don't think it's it's leveling it out. All right, so I've never used that leveler, just, just, just so you guys know. It's my first time, you know, it's first time for everything. Um, let's try that once more. But it, as you can see, it was in a pile and it's no longer in a pile. So it, it did work, I guess. Bring this down slightly. Let's try that once more. All right, yeah, so it, I, I, I guess it works. I don't know. Like I said, I've never used it before, but you have that ability to attach something on the front of it to, you know, in order to move it around or flatten it. Or if you had a big pile and you just wanted to, you know, make it not into a big pile and more into a flat surface, that's what you could do with it. So basically, guys, that was the test of the Moet pack. Um, this wasn't more. This was more of 
seen what it can cut versus telling you exactly what it does in detail. So we found out that it not only can cut grass, but you can also cut wheat with it, which makes me believe it can actually cut barley and maybe it can also cut oats. Um, you know what? Let's do this. I'm going to destroy this field really quickly and replant some barley and some oat and we're going to do that test as well. So let me get that done and see you guys soon. All right, guys. So barley and the oat has completed its growth cycle. So let's go ahead and let's test this out really quickly. See if this works. All right. So it cuts barley as well. So I'm guessing it's going to cut oat as well. So it cuts wheat, barley, and oat. And I mean, that's good. So now we know that you, it's not only you can cut grass with it, but you can cut wheat, barley, and oat. And the bag, it will actually pick up the byproduct straw. Um, you won't get the crop. This is basically, I guess, the same thing as what a um, forage wagon would have done, where you don't get the crop itself. You just get the byproduct. So if straw is what you're after, and you don't want to... You don't want the harvest of barley, wheat, or oat to be sold. This is a way that you could do it. Um, if you're just trying to get rid of the field and not have the crop, but you still want the byproduct, this is a way you could do it. So, Like I said, guys, this test was to see if we can cut anything else besides grass. Um, we also give you a, a little in-depth explanation of each and the um, slot counts and stuff like that. So if you guys did like the video, please go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to stay up to date with what's going on, please sub hit the um, the subscribe button and the bell beside the subscribe button and if you have any comments tips please go ahead leave them below i'll get back to each and every one of you thanks again for watching